One of my dogs absolutely had to be in the shot, so say hello to Noki. Hi, my name is Sweena and I am a current Evolve Artist student. I just finished my last assignment in block two and I'm so excited to share my process. In block two, us students have to learn to draw proportionally and then paint what we drew. I started my very last assignment in the same way that I started all my assignments. I looked around my house to see what I could paint that didn't seem like it would be the same thing that I was painting over and over again. You'd be surprised how many times that cups, bowls, and mugs all end up feeling like you're painting the same thing over and over again. So I had to get creative. I ended up settling on an apple. Funnily enough, I hadn't really painted too many organic shapes at that point yet, so an apple it is. A bowl, but not just any bowl. A bowl that has ridges on the sides, on the back, and at the very edge. And finally, because I was really starting to run out of inspiration, I looked at the Evolve archives and settled on folding a paper swan. Arranging the three objects in a good composition, I then got started on proportionally drawing them. I'm working on my initial measurements here, and while I do that, can I just say, I love the fact that the Evolve program didn't start with drawing first so that I could get used to handling oil paint and a paintbrush before trying anything else. Up until that point, I was really used to drawing everything and working with different types of charcoal pencils, so it was really nice to have a change of pace and just get used to handling a paintbrush first. It built my confidence, and I definitely felt like I was able to improve in a very short time. Time for some movie magic! Here's a blank page with my measurements that were blurry, so I put a picture that's in focus to make up for it. Some boxes for the objects, and a proportional drawing. But, like I said, that was movie magic. The reality is that this took a lot of measuring and checking, and then a lot of re-measuring and re-checking. Drawing Sweena was so caught up in all of that that she just rolled out a frame. All that re-measuring and re-checking caused a lot of erasing, so... Proof that I spend a lot of time erasing. These are all pencil eraser shavings. Gonna have to clean that up now. I now realize that in that portion of the video, you can't really see anything, but trust me, there were a lot of shavings in there. It's the effort that counts. After vacuuming my space to make sure it's clean, I admire my handiwork. Looking mighty fine, guys. Mighty fine. Time to start painting. For paintings, I go object to object, and since I found in block one that I'd take my time, I switched to clove oil instead of linseed, coupled with a Masterson oil paint box storer. This little guy, kind of looking like a Tupperware box. I've seen that my concentration for painting in one day seems to be at the max two hours, so I usually try to work in those increments. While painting Sweena does her work, I would like to explain why I signed up for Evolve. Like many other students, I always loved art, but I always felt like whatever I had on the paper wasn't exactly what I had in my head. I knew I had natural raw talent, but I always felt like I was missing something. I felt like I was searching for a needle in a haystack by sifting through YouTube videos, trying and experimenting with tools and techniques many others swore by. I still just wasn't satisfied. What sold me on Evolve was the fact that they had a guarantee. That made me feel more confident about them, and it made me feel more confident to go for it as well. The community here is awesome, and I just want to say thank you to the Evolve team for helping me through this journey. Throughout block two, when I did do personal projects, I noticed that my drawings heavily improved. I think it's because my eye naturally started getting better at drawing proportions correctly, as well as taking negative spaces into account when checking proportions. Whether it was measuring how long a limb needed to be or deciding how close the other objects needed to be, all of that became so much easier. In my Evolve paintings, I noticed that even if I did draw a proportion wrong, I could easily correct it during the painting process, which I ended up having to do in this painting as well. First, First, as I was painting the apple, I noticed it was too far from the other two objects and that the curves weren't exactly right. But instead of panicking, as I normally would have earlier, I just painted it until I knew the shape was right. Not only that, but as I was about to finish, I realized that I made the paper swan's neck too long, so the head didn't match up in proportion to everything else. Even though I noticed that pretty late in the process, because I used clove oil, it wasn't too hard to fix since the painting was still wet. Once I finished painting object to object, I did a final quality check with my camera to clean up any gradients, reflections, highlights, and sharp edges. Just like the checklist. While I do trust my eyes now at this point in being able to find the error, sometimes it's always helpful just to have a tool like your camera. And here's the final result. The only thing I missed here was the value of the apple and the light, which was truly a mistake, but we all have brain farts sometimes. I'm excited that I finished all the block two grayscale paintings and I really look forward to moving into color. I just started looking at the videos for my first color assignment in block three and looks a little intimidating, but I think this time around I'm up for the challenge.
Hey guys, that was Suina giving us a taste of what it's like to be a student in the Evolve Foundation program. If you're curious about learning more about Evolve and if it's a good fit for you, go watch this masterclass by Kevin Murphy on how to reach pro art skills. It's a must watch for anyone who's serious about developing their skills and you'll learn more about what you get for joining Evolve. So you can find the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed while you're at it because we've got a lot of awesome content coming soon. And thank you, Suina, for giving us a window into your Evolve journey. I think it's important that we don't just celebrate the before and afters, but also the in-between as well, because that's where the growth actually happens. With Suina, I noticed how confident she's become and how confident she is to take the next step to level up her skills. So. If you find yourself somewhere between where you started and where you want to be, you're on a journey. Soak it in, pay attention to how you're growing and have fun with it. Thank you again for watching. Go watch the masterclass and happy painting everyone.